know it's not Halloween anymore, but please just let me have this. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. Hope everyone had an amazing, spectacular, spooky October, autumn. I say autumn because I mean, I have my seasons all off, you know? I start my seasons and end them when I want to. And now it's winter. Now we're getting ready for Christmas time. So coming out later on in the year, I think December, we have the sequel to the critically acclaimed film Knives Out. It is called Glass Onion. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Maybe we will find out what the reason for that title is. But in order to get there, we have to start here. So today we're going to be watching Knives Out. Never seen it. I don't know pretty much anything about this other than it has an amazing cast. It has very high ratings and it is, like I said, critically acclaimed. It is very, um, like the reviews are very, very good for this movie. And I think it has like murder mystery something, just murder mystery, you know what I mean? Agatha Christie, who done it? You better find the guilty party before the guilty party finds you. You know what I'm saying? If you know where that is from, what I just said right now, words cannot describe the amount of respect I have for you. Truly, I'm not exaggerating. If you know where you better find the guilty party before the guilty party finds you is from, hats off and I know you were in the trenches with me and that's all I will say about that. But per usual, if you wanna watch my full length reaction to this, I highly encourage you to check out my Patreon. Link for that will be in the description. You can get videos early, 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 like weeks in advance before I post them here on YouTube. So, or if you just wanna give me any sort of general support, there is a $1 tier. So you can go ahead, check that out and see what's in store for you with that. So let's quit chit chatting because I know this is a longer movie. I know people like to crucify me when I say two hours is long for a movie. It's, it's not long, but it is long when you have to edit it. And that's all I mean about that. All right. So if you want to come for my wig, you're going to have to try harder because I'm not gonna have it. I'm not gonna have it. There we go. All right, let's go ahead, quit. Let's see what all the fuss is about with this movie. James Bond, that's our main character. I'm assuming our main protagonist. So let's go ahead and see what he's got up his sleeve. All right, hopefully, I mean, I'm assuming I'm not going to need a companion for this because it's not spooky, it's just fun mystery. Hopefully there's no jump scares or anything that actually is gonna throw me off because I ain't got nothing to cover my screen or my face. So here's to hoping. That is a nice house. And some good duckies, a little pee pee. Hey, cheers to that. Music is like fast, you know. Morning, Mr. Thromby. It's not very secretive. You can see the hinges pretty clearly. Ah! Scream. Shit. What? No scream? No. After Harlan Thrombey's demise. Treat like a stuck pig, then you crushed his skull with a forklift and burned his hands off to erase the fingerprints. Oh my god, so intricate. <laughs> what the hell? Turn it off hey, now. Alice, throw it yeah, open and she doesn't need to be never. hearing that right now. Let's be sensitive. It's Harlan's son. Oh, his son. Okay. Harlan Thrombey. That's such an intricate name. Everybody, let's link up and find out who did it. The music feels so grand already. I like it. Oh my gosh, she's vibing. She's vibing, y'all. Oh no. Hannah. What's her name, Hannah? 
Three three reasons why? Oh my gosh, that was so long ago. I don't even remember. What are you doing, kiddo? Linda. I'm telling you, the Activia. It's helping her out, her complexion. Uh, we're ready for you now. We'd like to see you one at a time. I'm assuming this will all be wrapped up before the memorial tonight. Honey, you got a big storm coming. I'm assuming. Linda! How was it? The party? Pre my dad's death? Okay, so she's the daughter. Marta, Harlan's caregiver. Good girl. Family's from Ecuador. Harlan's mom. It's her. Hi, Nana. She did it. Wow. How old is she? The mom. We have no idea. Um, I was gonna say, y'all are pretty old already. And son, are you leaving? Okay, and you and your husband, Richard, work at a real estate firm in Boston? No, it's, it, it's my company. Right, right, sorry. I built my business from the ground up. Oh, yeah. With dad. You had to find a game to play with him, and you played by his rules. Everyone idolizes their dad, right? Seems like all his kids are self-made overachievers. Sure. Serious. Walt Thromby, Harlan Thromby's youngest son. It's my, it's our, uh, it's the family's publishing company. Dad trusts me to run it. I mean, I don't do much fiction reading myself. Big but. fan. I'm big. It was the easy part for him. Hurry up. <laughs> that kind of scared me, not gonna lie. My son Jacob, he's 16. The boy is literally. He's an alt right troll dipshit. Kids today with the internet, it's amazing. Kids these days. We're here with Joni Thromby, yes. Harlan Thromby's Slay. daughter in law. Yeah, I married his son Neil. We had one daughter, Meg, and then Neil passed on. <laughs> I feel simultaneously freed by. Okay, so that's one of the son's wives, but the son is not alive. Yeah, Flan, your skincare company. Sorry. Yeah, it's skincare, but it promotes a total lifestyle. Self-sufficiency with an acknowledgement of human need. <laughs> That's her daughter. Okay. You left the party early. Have fun. To see some friends at Smith. You know Dad pays for her crypto-Marxist theory, whatever major. She could have stuck around for the cake. Hurry up, you're boring me. Who is that guy? Yeah. One of us killed him. One of his oh, family no. Walls, Walls. killed him. Is that no. what you're suggesting, Lieutenant? No one's saying that. No one said that, my guy. Chill. Uh, Mr. Blanc is a private investigator of great renown. I read a tweet about a New Yorker article about you. <laughs> Mr. Blanc, I know who you are. I read your profile in the New Yorker. I found it delightful. And? I just buried my 85-year-old father who committed suicide. Why are you here? She's mad. I'm here at the behest of a client. Who? I, I cannot say, but let me assure Okay, you. okay. You will find me a respectful, quiet, passive observer. What is this accent he's doing? Okay, so someone paid him to investigate this. We don't know who. Harlan hired her to be around to take care of whatever medical needs popped up. But really, she's like part of the family. Family's from Paraguay. Linda really likes her work. Didn't someone say Ecuador earlier? <laughs> Didn't uh, Linda say Ecuador? I have to express my admiration for how you followed in your father's footsteps. You know, the whole family, too. And Joni with her thing. And Walt with his publishing empire. It's... Well. Spill beans. Yes, I mean, he's done well with what dad gave him. Okay, so they have some sort of sibling power dynamic. It's just not the same. But surely Walt runs the merchandising, the adaptations. Are you baiting me, detective? You know he doesn't. And if you think I am dumb enough to be baited into shit-talking my baby brother in front of a police detective and a state trooper... Walt doesn't run shit. No. Yeah. Yeah. So he is dumb enough to talk about the family drama. All right. He'd get into it with Harley. Did he? Get into it at the party. Oh my god. Come on. You're spilling it all out, man. It'd be too obvious if it was the youngest brother. What? Richard said what? No, Jesus, <laughs> he did not get what did Holland say to you? His accent is kind of odd. The Netflix guy's the business of hair guy. Netflix guy, the now Netflix got the sequel rights. Please! They're not our books, son. They're my books. It's unfair of me to keep you tethered. To something that isn't yours to control. What? No, You're I've, fired. All these You're years, fired. I've kept you from building something of your own. Oh, yes. 
what's going to happen. But you're not going to be running the, the publishing house anymore. You're free of it. Oh. Dad, are you firing me? I'm letting you go. We talk details tomorrow. Oh, uh, we'll talk details tomorrow. And then tomorrow is when he got tea. You want to talk about an argument to help? Ransom had an argument. Ransom, that's uh, Richard and Linda's son. Mm. We all love Ransom. He's a good kid. We love him. But? But he's always been the black sheep of the family. They like to stoke up drama in front of the whole family. It's her. If I'm actually right, and it is the mom, the mom, the great grandma, that'd be hilarious. She did hear Harlan in a screaming match with somebody that afternoon. Screaming match? Mm -hmm. Really? So I'm not really talking that much. I'm trying to get all the information. Soak it up right now. You stay out of my marriage. I know my daughter. You, you stay out of my marriage. That's my daughter. You're cheating on my daughter. Well, I wouldn't really call that a screaming match, but um, voices were raised. Earlier, you know, Richard said you were there. I was. It was just a mix up with the uh, the payment for Meg's tuition. I'm sorry, Chris. But what happened? What kind of mix up? He didn't want to pay it no more. Yeah, the school hasn't got the check yet. I don't know why <laughs> Alan didn't make it. Your yearly allowance has been wiring tuition money directly to you as well. You have been double dipping Meg's tuition and stealing from me. Oh, interesting. That's why the daughter, that's why they're like, oh, they pay for her daughter's tuition. She doesn't know that because the mom's taking all the money. So in the daughter's eyes, grandpa ain't paying for anything. So I had to ask Harlan to cut a check for the semester. No big deal. Okay, so I'm trying to get as much info. I feel like I need to draw out who is who. Give me one second. Okay, I'm going to draw out who is who? We have Harlan Thromby, and we don't know who his wife is, or at least it has not been announced yet. And then we have the grandma, old grandma, who I don't even know if we have her name yet. Jamie Lee Curtis, who is Linda, who I forgot who he is. I'm just gonna write deceased. Tony Collette is Joni. C, and then we have the youngest brother, Walt. So there are so many people. Like, they really expect me to remember all of these freaking people. I think that's pretty much everybody that we've at least been introduced to so far. I hope I got this right. Dead. All right, so this is my little family tree. These are the people that are not related, but are connected some way, shape, or form. They, Marta is the, I don't know, she helps out, she helps out the family or whatever, kind of like a worker person for them. Then we have the detectives, Daniel Craig and Elliot. I don't know the old great grandma's name yet, but then we have Harlan Thromby, all right, and his three kids. So we have Linda, Jamie Lee Curtis, a middle son who I don't know if they said his name. I'm not sure. Oh, and that's probably her, right? Juanetta? Okay, whatever. I'm not going to write it down yet. Uh, who was married to Joni, aka Tony Collette. So that's how she's related to the family. She's not directly related, but married their son. And then Walt, the youngest, who is the owner or helps run the publishing company, or at least did. And I'm assuming he is the one that's married to Ricky, who we have yet to be introduced to yet, but I just looked up the cast right now. They have a kid named Jacob, who is the kid from It. Uh, Tony Collette and the deceased husband have a daughter named Meg, who is Hannah Baker from 13 Reasons Why. And Linda is married to Richard, and they have a kid named Ransom. Can you be a little bit more subtle in you know what I'm saying? Who is Chris Evans. All right, so I think I'm gonna keep this on standby so I can, you know, look back at it. But let's, we need to continue. Continue on with this. This is getting juicy already. Richard! And Richard is a lying, cheating, backstabbing, possible killer. I don't think he's a killer. I still think it's 
the mom, the great grandma. If it, you guys, I legit have not seen this movie before. If it is the great grandma, and if you're watching this, if you aren't already, you have to subscribe because that would just be amazing. And I'll make the rules, all right? And he tricked ya. Miss me, miss me, and I you wanna kiss me. But when the great Benoit Blanc I'm trying to get more into a uh, murder mystery type of stuff. I just got the entire collection of Sherlock Holmes. I got that book, so hopefully this will make me more excited to read that. We will see how that is. Where are you going? Mora Cabrera. Mora Cabrera. He needed more help. No help. He needed a friend. Mental help. A little bird has told me you have a regurgitative reaction to mistruthing. <laughs> huh? Just the thought of lying. Yeah, it, it makes makes me puke. Is Richard having an affair? No. Okay, so she knows the tea. Yes, 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 yes. An affair? Tell the truth. You just said you throw up if you don't tell the truth. Mm, no. Oh shit! Uh -huh. Was Holland planning on cutting off Joni's allowance? Dang, this bitch was here for everything. She knows everything. Oh, oh my god. So she bumps him off for the inheritance? Come on, no. Have you seen her Insta? She's an influencer. <laughs> Influencers are not capable of murder, surely. But she lied to me. All three of them did. Wonder. Right. But lying just makes you look even more suspicious. Who hired you? I do not know. Oh! An envelope of cash showed up at my apartment yesterday with a news clip and a throb is dead. An envelope, that worked. An envelope of cash. <laughs> not just any envelope. Somebody suspects foul play and goes through this high chair dance of hiring me, of staying anonymous. Maybe it's, um, Linda, Jamie Lee Curtis, maybe it's her that hired uh, Daniel Craig. The stairs leading up to Harlan's bedroom and his attic office creak horribly. So we know every time someone took the stairs at night. First was when Joni heard a thunk from somewhere above her in the house. Oh, so they're all in the same house. Harlan was in his attic office with Marta. He explained that they had just knocked over the gold board. Ten minutes later, Linda is awoken a second time by Marta leaving. Fifteen minutes later, Linda is awoken for the third and final time. Harlan who came down for a midnight snack. Dad, go back to bed. Which Walt tried to discourage. What? Except it was a suicide, all right? We saw from the blood spat patterns that they were uninterrupted, meaning it's almost impossible for anyone to have been around him at the time. Everyone can lie. Yeah, but couldn't someone grab, like, put a knife in his hand and then, you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this is Harlan's limp hand and then someone grabs it and goes like that, guides it. Your piece of it is at its very center. Tell us the truth. And no tums you for you. Tell us what happened in that half hour. Exactly. We are not breaking tradition care. on my birthday. Why can't I beat you at this game? That's elder abuse. I'm going to call you. <laughs> That's elder. You beat me at this game. Elder abuse. Hello. Get under a door frame. It's his yeah. life. <laughs> You've gone mad. Man. How was tonight? Tonight was... Uh, Good. Didn't you get into like three fights oh, though? Cut the line on all four of them. <laughs> oh, he had it. He had that party so that he can, you know, stop paying everybody basically. I don't know. Encouraged Walt to write his own stories, not just be a... A leecher? <laughs> be the main character. Stop being a side character. Joni, the Jesus ransom. <laughs> oh, there's so much of me in that kid protected playing life like a game without consequence <laughs> until you can't tell a difference you good, bro? between a stage prop okay, so let's put that down. and a real knife so anyways you mean the good stuff yeah oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just bad. a tiny bit okay why did i wait till my mid-age to become a morphine user what a oh Oh my God. He already, she already gave him morphine. You gave me a hundred milligrams of the good stuff. Excuse me, but who is the good stuff dosage supposed to be? Three milligrams. No, that's much less. 
I'm gonna give you an emergency shot of naloxone so you don't die in 10 minutes. At least she told him, like, whoops, I accidentally gave you the bit of lied. Does she not have the thing that she needs to, you know, make it so he doesn't die? Someone took it. I have it because it, it comes with the kids. It should be here. It has to be. It's like a... Oh, this is stressful. Don't give up. Keep looking. To call an ambulance. But he's going to be dead in 10 minutes, so... Maybe he did, you know, do it himself. What you said is true. I'm gone. There's no saving me. No, we have got to get you out of this. Think of your mom. Oh, so he told her to leave so that she doesn't get blamed for him. Okay. Interessante. So is he going to die from this? What do you want me to do? Go downstairs as noisily as you can and say goodbye loudly. Call attention to the time. God, it's midnight already. So he wants the drama drama. I mean, at least he really is a girlie with a plan. You know what I'm saying? Then to avoid the security cameras, pull off the road before the carved elephant. After the carved elephant. No, he said before. What's it? The after four of the carved elephant. Oh, shit. Come back on foot up to the house. Take the side yard path through the little gate. Climb the side trellis and come in through the trick ball window. Why? Is she gonna get in trouble for this? I really hope not. Get my robe and cap from my bedroom and put them on. Pretend to be. Walt is smoking outside and he'll see you. You've gone from suspect number one to an impossibility. Yeah. <laughs> Leave then! Brandon, are you back again already? She is. Bruh, if she comes through the great grandma and is like, I saw Marta leaving, blah, 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 or says something to them, that I think that still counts for you guys should sub subscribe. I, I think that still counts, even if she didn't do it. It counts for something. What kind of medication did you give her? Um, morphine. All of the whole bottle. I mean, ibuprofen. Did you notice anything strange or off about his demeanor? Yeah, he was dead. That seemed not like himself. <laughs> but she didn't lie though. Why is she still sick? She didn't lie. I think she said it was true. Just not the whole truth. I don't think he killed himself. I don't. I really don't. And in it, she plays his wife, who's getting killed so... by her husband. And my cousin, who's- She's like, girl, what are you even on about? <laughs> Okay, can we finally hear what this oh, argument was about? An asshole's what Germany needed Here in 1930. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Those two things. There That's are right. millions of Mexicans coming. Oh, God. And don't, don't make this a race thing. You yeah, always make this, this not a race thing. Don't make it a race thing, but she brought it up. <laughs> America is for America. Don't point at me. Where's Marcus? She's still here. Please she is quite possibly the worst person you can bring into this conversation. They did it legally. She did it the right way. And you'll earn your share from the ground up. There are legal ways. But still, take my plate. Get out of here, peasant. <laughs> what was the conversation? Hey, friend, do you still have your stash? Marijuana? Yep. We've been talking it over. Have you been smoking grass? No. Smoking grass? Just say what it is, man. Weed. We'd like to take care of you. Weed. He did say it. We'd like to take care of you. It. If I'm ever rich, I, I want oil painting of myself. Are you even rich? Was it even all worth it if you don't have an oil painting self-portrait of you hanging in your house? Do people still do that? Like, is that a job that people have? Painting portraits of people, like giant ones? Like for rich people? I don't know, let me know if that's a thing. My father respected Harlem. Yes, there's quite a lot. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Something is afoot with this whole affair. I don't know what you're talking about. I anticipate the terminus of gravity's rainbow. It's a novel. Yeah, I know. I haven't read it though. Neither have I. Nobody has. But I like the title. <laughs> That's literally me with Moby Dick. I'm convinced no one's read that. Except for Lummy Snicket. I know he's read that. And how do I know that he read that? Because he makes references in series of fortune events. And how do I know the references? My sister told me. <laughs> he's much smarter about that type of stuff than me. <laughs> I want you to be by my side for it. 
My eyes and ears. Poor Kay, she's not a detective. Messy, messy. If she actually did do it, then what's the rest of this gonna be about? You know what I mean? We're not even halfway through. Heartland, I can't. You can? You have to. Well, receive that. No. Heartland, I have to get you help. And everything will be just <gasps> fine. No, wait, is he actually? Wait, <laughs> no! Okay, so I guess that is the tea. He actually did. That's only because she accidentally killed him. So he made it look like he did it himself. Because he wanted it to make it look like he did it himself, right? Hopefully he wasn't trying to pin it on anybody else if that was the tea. But like I said, if that is the tea, then like what is going on the rest of this movie? What? Oh, she got blood on there. 50 years ago, I, I worked this estate. Now uh, he's got all this modern technology. What are you on about? <laughs> Just do what we ask you to do. To avoid the security cameras, pull off the road after the car of Oh no. She pulled off. Of course. So I'm assuming that the rest of this movie is just her trying to cover up her own tracks. You know what I mean? Since she has a first hand, she is full on in there. You know what I mean? Right hand man to the detectives. Should be coming up now to the time when the party ended. Uh, you, you gotta keep holding it down or else- Why don't any of them do it instead of her? Tie up your scarf, girl. I can take on to that. Yeah. She's like, fuck! Any luck on, what's his name? Ransom? Yeah. Is Ransom his actual name? It's a terrible name. Oh. How is it still muddy? I mean, hasn't it been over a week at this point? No. Stay there! What? Whoa! We got footprints here. Martin. Stop. What? What? Martin. <laughs> Stay there. What? What'd you say? Yeah, Sorry, hold on. <laughs> and the dogs. Whoopsies. <laughs> this judge of character is a dog. Dude, why aren't the dogs the second in command if he's like, hmm, the dog knows who the killer is because he's the best judge of character. That'd be so funny. Brings him along to, to solve the case. You'll know it when you see it. Bitch, all the clues are still there. Like... How long has she been there, my guy? How long has Mrs. Thornberry... Thornberry? <laughs> what is it? Thrombie. Okay. Like zombie. How long has she been there? A week? I'm telling you, she comes through and is like, um, Marta was climbing down and I saw everything. That'd be awesome. Where has this guy been this whole time? You Drysdale? Call me Ransom. It's my middle name. Oh, it's his middle name. Uh, I'm just going to be in the other room uh, setting up. Be ready in 10 minutes. What is that? Lie detector. I, I don't know, actually. Funny, Ransom. You skipped the funeral, but you're early for the will reading. Oh. Uh, Why are you even bothering? That's what I'm asking myself. Walt, what? What? Jacob was in that bathroom the night of the party. Joylessly masturbating to pictures of dead deer. What? You know what? what? Dude, he's way bigger than you. I just love the family drama. If I'm here for anything after, I mean, we already know who did it, but I'm at least here for the family drama. Spill it. Spill the tea. I just heard two things. My will. And then I heard Ransom say, I'm warning you. Oh. Son. Just tell us what happened. Father, did Harlan tell you he was going to cut you out of the will? Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Yep. This might be the best thing that could ever happen to you. Eat shit. If I Eat shit. Eat you shit. Would... To ever... What is his problem, actually? He just grew up super rich and is a super entitled now, or... Then why is he here? If he if he knows he was cut out of the will, why is he here for the, the hearing, the will hearing? Oh, yes! He brought it back! Good puppy. Good puppy. What is... Yes, yes, yes. She's like... We live here. Wait a minute. Well, that doesn't make sense. Where's that window? He oh, is putting you. the pieces together. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> what is happening? See, I like 
this house, but um, it's too dark, man. And what's the point of having a secret window if it's blocked window. off? Oh, well, I'm what? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Well, what's the point of having this secret window in the first place? I guess I should say. Has the dad Harlan right? Has he been planning this for eons? How long has this been going on? Traces of dried mud. You will find similar samples leading up the trellis on the outside of the house. Somebody who did not want to be heard climbing those steps went to a great deal of trouble to break into Harlan Thromby's rooms. She's like, weird. Who would do that? For what reason? Thank you all for getting together like this. All right, let's hear this see who's going to get the most money. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to gently request that you all stay in town till the investigation is completed. What? Can we ask why? Has something changed? No. No, it hasn't changed, or no, we can't ask. Yes. Harlan's assets included the house, which he owned up, right? 60 million. Yes, 60 million in various cash accounts. Jeez. Sole ownership of Blood Like Wine, his publishing company. Um, what's the point of that? There's a little thing, a little clamp thing. You just twist it. And... This will be quick. <laughs> I, I hereby direct that all my assets, both liquid and otherwise, I leave in their entirety to Marta Cabrera. I knew it. It was gonna, I knew it. I was like, it's, he's gonna leave everything to Marta. That's what he knows. He, so this, dip, dip, dip. so Ransom knew, had a conversation with Harlan, who was like, uh, I'm gonna give everything to Marta. But how would he know that? Why would he tell him that? Maybe he didn't tell him that. I'm just speculating. But he must have written that a long ass time ago. Not a long, a week ago. I mean, did he write this like right after he got poisoned or when he told her to leave? When he told Martha to leave and do the whole, you know, climb up the window, come back, pretend to be me, all of that. Maybe that's when he typed it up and was like, I'm gonna leave everything to Martha. Cause I feel like that's a little intricate. Little bitch, you- I didn't do anything. Except for killing, but I didn't do anything. Were you boinking my father? Ew! Dirty anchor baby. What? Oh no, 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 Martha, get out of there. Messy camera. Why is the sun filming? And then also right after Walt and Meg told her, hey, we want to help you out financially. Since my dad died, we know that was your job. We want to help you out. Yada, yada, yada. DM me on Instagram. Okay? I can talk to you. <laughs> I think this could be the best thing to happen to all of you. Ha ha ha. What does he mean by that? That's why he's laughing. That's hilarious. What does he mean by that? You just, because you just said that to him. You know what I mean? All this is all looking so suspicious to Mr. Daniel Craig. Mr. Baby. Baby. You look like you're going to pass out. Have you eaten anything today? Hmm. Why? Why? I don't know. There's got to be a bigger reason why, and you know Well, it. how about it had to do more with you guys than with she got a point. Fair enough. Did he tell you anything? Only that I wasn't getting a cent. That's because he wanted you to build something from the ground up. Build, yeah, my mother built her business from the ground up with a million dollar loan from my grandfather. I was gonna say, my come on. So no one's innocent. Everybody just wants to leech off of poor Harlan. Like from here on out, I was gonna have to fend for myself. And that felt Bad. good. Oh. I know he didn't commit suicide. I know it. He kind of did. I know why it makes you puke. Because of the does... Mafia game last 4th of July. Oh, I was going to say, how does everyone know this? Look me in the eye and tell me what happened to my grandfather. Interessante. Tell me everything. No. So maybe it was Ransom that hired Daniel Craig, private investigator. If Harlan was of sound mind when he made the changes and we all confirmed that he was. This guy is like, why am I still here? My only job was to read the will and leave. Why am I still here? It's four hours later. I need to go home. If somehow oh, she had gotten her hooks in him. You need what about the Slayer rule? Well, what the hell is the Slayer rule? Yeah. Well, it's if someone is convicted of killing a person, they don't get their inheritance. Not even Everyone's just really ruling out that it could be Martha. Harlan committed suicide. Did he? Detective Blank, do you spit foul play? Mr. Blank. Mr. Blank, not Mr. Blank. Mr. Blank. I have eliminated no suspects. You're full of shit. I don't trust this guy in the tweed suit. And Alan, God bless you, you're useless. Thank you. 
Seriously, like, can I can I go? This other girl too was like, why am I still here? This wasn't him. He loved us. He wanted us taken care of. He wanted you to have an education. Meg, you think I can pay for your school? I know. Oh, so she did tell him everything. Okay. I always thought I was the only one that could beat him in Go. And Meg at the party, the last argument, that's what he told me about you. That you beat him in Go more than I do, and I thought, what a strange thing to tell me. Interesting. Well, like he was trying to replace Ransom with Martha? Let me help you go all the way. Let's get married so that I can have the money. I can help you get away with this. And then, you're gonna give me my cut of the inheritance. Mm -hmm. Happy ending, everybody wins. You, me, Harlan. I mean, not really a win for Harlan. He died and also he didn't want to give you any money in the first place so how is giving you money in the end a win for him meg Marta, i guess i wanted to ask what are you gonna do look i can't pay for school i know he was like family to you but we're his actual family and so what it didn't seem like he liked any of y'all very much mom's broke she says i'm gonna have to drop out of school and i want you to know i'm gonna take care of you i promise that thanks Wrong conversation at the worst possible time. Did they make her say that? Messy, 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 messy. No matter how good this blonde guy thinks he is, he's got nothing. Hey, relax. That kind of scared me a little bit, not gonna lie. Wait, so is that true? Are we rich? Yes. Y'all, I just realized something. Martha did all of this. We know the whole story and they told us really early on. I thought this was gonna be a whole movie thing where we're like trying to figure out who did it. You're telling me I did all of this for nothing. Truly, I did all of this for nothing. I mean, kind of helpful because now I know who's related to who and how, but I wasn't, I mean, I was gonna use it to try to figure out who did it. They told us within like 30 minutes of the freaking movie. Why? Why did I do that? Good morning, Mr. Thornby. I, I suspect the first to console you. They yuck, aren't they? Your family sucks ass, don't they? I think you have something you want to tell me. <laughs> she knows. She's an observer. Twelve hours later. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Walter, I want you to know. Get away from me. <laughs> we all kind of went a little crazy. But like, can I have some of the money, please? That seriously is way too much money for just one person. Uh, Harlan put you in a very hard position here. I mean, the kind of press and scrutiny that this kicks up, and who, who know with your mother. My mother? Yeah. Mm. What did Meg tell you? Oh, this isn't about you. <laughs> We, we don't want to attack you with this, but Marta, if your mother came into the country illegally, I'd be afraid that could come to light. And that's... But, uh, Ransom already kind of promised me something else. So, everyone's true colors coming out when money's involved. Because eh. Harlan gave me all your resources, so that means with my resources I'll be able to fix it. So I guess I will find the right lawyers. Uh, Marta, that's... She has literally everything, bro. It's over. Like, it's over. And you guys are just digging your graves at this point. I know what you did. Who? Oh, the detective? Yes, Bagnon Blanc. This is a photocopy of just the header of a blood toxicology report. Marta, this is going to show the morphine overdose. Thomas Cruz. Yeah, how are they how are they not seeing that yet? I mean, don't they do that pretty instantly after someone dies, you know, when the ambulance are there or whatever, and then they finally take them back? Don't they do all this researching and, oh, let's check the bloodstream, the liver, those stuff, like everything. You know what I mean? How have they not done that yet? It got burned down, okay. <laughs> Never mind. How convenient. So someone at the hospital sent her that. Well, that's awfully convenient. So that means blood stores, records, anything of that nature, it's all gone. The surveillance tape at the Thrombia estate was all scrambled for some reason. Interesting, because it's been a while since they uh, mentioned that. The original tape where you saw her car. You didn't get any other instructions, no phone call, no email, nothing. 
And yeah, that's it. 1209 Columbus Road, 10 a.m. You know what this means, right? If you destroy that cop, you're totally in the clear. Oh no, he sees you. you hear me? Drive! He'd be like, why are you here? What are you doing here? That's basically the whole premise of this movie. What are you doing here? Yes, car chase. I really like the music for this, I must say. It's very high speed chase, very who done it better find the guilty party before the guilty party finds you. <laughs> no. Mr. F, Mr. F, Mr. F. Now you just look very, very, very suspicious. If you weren't before, you're very suspicious now. I couldn't do this without you. I was gonna say, you're fast, but you're not too fast for uh, Mr. Daniel Craig, Mr. Bagnol. I don't know how to pronounce it. Bagnol Blanc? Mr. Blanc? I spoke to Winetta Thromby, great nana. Out of the party, she saw someone climbing the trellis to the third floor. She thought it was Ransom. Oh yeah, cause she thought it was Ransom the whole time. Did I ask you to drive when he saw me coming? Yes. Yes. Just throw him under the bus. Blech! <laughs> Please don't tell me he's gonna take a sip out of that. Please don't tell me he's gonna take a sip out of that and be like, oh, that's weird that you threw up. Please, no, I don't wanna watch it. A case with a hole in the middle. A donut. <laughs> I mean, she has to look majorly suspicious at this point, but I guess everything's just kind of working out in her favor. I would think she was suspicious as soon as I found out that the entire will was dedicated just to her. What? All of a sudden, bruh, it's uh, Richard, right? I think it is Richard. You can see his long hair. Oh, actually, I don't know. Dead? Is someone dead? Actually, I'm scared, y'all. Oh, it's- No, 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 Frank. Frank, give me a sign. She got overdosed morphine. Okay. Morphine, yes. Okay. You did this. So is she the one that hired Daniel Craig this whole time? She knew this whole time? Yep, she's like, fuck, I have to save you now. It's all gonna come to light right now, right? Maybe like, how did you know she was gonna be here? Oh, I got this email, why'd you get this email? Er, because I got this piece of paper. Why'd you get that piece of paper? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna tell you the truth. Young Ransom just told Lieutenant Elliot everything. Oh. So you didn't figure it out. I mean, obviously she had swiped it back from the house, but she didn't seem like a user to me. A new mystery to be solved. All ran up the thrombies at the house, along with the police escort. Thromby is such a pompous name. You know what I mean? It's so fancy. So elite. Thromberry. I keep, wait, Thromberry, is it? Thromby. I keep saying Thromby because I keep thinking Thornberry, like the wild Thornberries. Throm, Thromby, like zombie. Okay. Well, has she come to her senses? Okay. So, did you really kill my grandpa? I'm so sorry I told them about your mom. Meg, it's okay. She's the one that told them, okay. I know where the Tufts report is. Oh. Anyways, this will tie everything up, and I just hand it to you. God, you're not much of a detective, are you? Oh. I was gonna say, he didn't even figure it out. Come on, Mr. Brawl. You've always been good to me. And what I'm about to say isn't going to be easy, and you're going to be upset. I... Excuse me! You have all treated her like shit to steal back a fortune that you lost and she deserves. You're a pack of vultures at the feast. Knives out, beaks bloody. Well... Knives out! Title of the movie, let's go. I'll drink to that. In the case of Harlan Thromby, is ruled as suicide. And the case is closed. Monk. What? What? He just couldn't take it no more. It is an immovable fact that I killed Harlan. Out the hole at the center of this donut. A donut hole in a donut's hole. The donut hole has a hole in its center. What? It is not a donut hole, but a smaller donut with its own hole. What is all this donut talk? Just tell me. Stan, if this is amusing for you. Why was I hard? person must have known the contents of the will. That same person must have known a crime was committed. They must have known that Marta was responsible. So who? 
one truly guilty party behind it all. Who? What? You might tell us all why you hired me. You and Harlan were drama mamas. You shared a love of twisting the knife into one another. You see, I don't believe he would have slipped it in halfway. No, no, no. Harlan told you everything. You can't be serious. Not a red dime to a single one of them. You included. There is one obvious explanation. I'm giving it to Marta. Oh, he, okay, so he told him he was going to give it to Marta. Okay, so he made that new revised will before he died, not during, okay. And a plan forms. He switched the drugs, right? So she didn't really kill him. It, yes, she did, but she didn't mean to. You sneak in up the trellis. That, uh. What do you need to do? So all the evidence was leading back to him and they knew it. What medications uh, Harlan took? You used the syringes in the kit to switch the liquids. You took the naloxone. Interessante. So he did figure everything out. Is a good detective. If he did that, if the meds were switched, then when I got them mixed up, I gave Harlan the correct doses. Yes. Okay, so. So Ransom switched the normal regular drug and the morphine. I feel like I need to draw this out because I am getting confused. Okay, so he switched them, right? So now this is there and this is there. So now she was giving him the normal drug, so normal drug, but it was actually the killer drug. But then she said she switched it back. I'm confused. I, I need to go back. I accidentally switched them back, so... What? How? Am I not getting something, folks? Okay, so, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still very confused. Okay, so the normal drug's actually the killer drug. So she gave, when he was like, oh, give me that good stuff. That was actually the normal drug. How, how does she give him the correct dosage? Oh, okay, because... I'm so sorry. She didn't actually give him the normal drug originally. She accidentally gave him the killer drug and thought that it was the killer drug. And she was like, oh shit, I just gave you the killer drug. But it was actually the normal one. Okay, so she didn't kill him, ever. She never killed him. They thought that she did at that point. Okay, sorry, sometimes my brain, it's a jog, it's not a sprint. All right, let's continue. You gave him the correct medication because you are the good. Harlan was perfectly fine. Damn, he almost got away with it too. Like he he straight up almost got away with it all. Oh, sneaky little bastard. <sighs> that sucks. He was gonna blame it all on her and then be like, hey, I know everything. It's okay. I'll protect you if you give me some of the money. He was gonna he was gonna come out here nice and ransom. Are you back again already? Because he was there. Yeah. Earlier that So night. she is the exposing queen. Because he saw, she saw him. Come on, Granny. Much later that night, you'd have to come back to the house to retrieve the incriminating pampered vials. However, this time the dogs were outside. And they do not like you. They bark, weak and mad. No oh yeah! But tomorrow brings new, a slit throat and a suicide. Now the circumstances are perfect. The anonymous hiring of me. Enter Benoit Blanc. <laughs> Enter. Me. That's why too, I was like, wouldn't they notice in his blood that there was some drug? There wasn't. That is why you missed the funeral. There is no one home to wonder why you're going into Harlan's study. Or so you think. Yes. She did not know what you were doing, but, but she, she knew you were up to no Yeah, way. she knew something so, though. Fran, the housekeepers know everything. She gets a copy of the toxicology report, so she photocopies the header and makes her blackmail note. Wow. So why did she send it to me? She didn't. He did. She sent it to Ransom. Oh, she's like, I know what you did. Lying, cheating, killing, son of a bitch. Evil, he's evil, you guys. And then she confesses everything, yes. He's like, hmm, convenient though that he made you do basically everything that I already had evidence laid out there for. So now it's just your evidence is on top of mine. So they just see yours. Very convenient for me. Just 
wants. Violent. He burned it up. Destroy all evidence of martyr's innocence. Yes, yes, yes. Send her the anonymous email and deliver her the blackmail note. Step three, keep your appointment with Fran. I knew you were a no good son of a bitch. That's what all I'm saying, literally. But it doesn't matter anymore because I'm going to kill you. She said you did this. She wasn't talking about me. She said you did this. You did this. You. Yes. Oh, okay. I forgot his actual name was Hugh. Fran coming through. The true contenders of this. Fran, the housekeeper, and the great grandmother slash mother of Harlan coming through with the evidence. We love to see it. Oh my gosh. She saved Fran's life. Yes. Fran's alive? Yes. Oh yes. Shit. <laughs> Who will Damn it. Yes. Is it? We'll be there soon. Thank you. Fran's okay. She's okay. She's ready to talk. Trooper Wagner, if you could uh, <laughs> keep it up, come on. Bah, bah, bah. Some action. We let you watch our granddad. We welcomed you into our family. You think I'm not gonna fight to protect my home? You don't owe your family nothing if they're assholes to. I get arson for the building and a few other charges with a good lawyer, which I have. I'll be out in no time. And then you'll see just how much hell I can wreak. Sequel, life. stay tuned for the sequel. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Fran's dead. And you just confessed to her murder. Oh! Nice! I was like, what does she lie about? Nice. Okay, she came through. In for a penny. Oh, shit! Not our queen. No! What are all the detectives doing? No, don't! Did he actually stab her? They're all fake knives. Attempted murder number two. Shit. <laughs> yeah. They're all fake knives. Harlan's like, you don't think I would actually have a throne of just knives all around me? Are you crazy? That's hilarious. Oh no. Oh wait, no, there's something on there. She needs to find out one day that her husband is also a like cheater bastard. The music, yes. You son of a bitch. So I, and also the dogs, I guess the dogs were right. What's that picture? The cheating husband. Oh, how does she know to do that? I hope she leaves all of them. Who cares? When did you know I had something to do with Harlan's death? Oh, from the first moment you set foot in front yes. of me. Yes. I was gonna say he always knew. You still got blood on your shoes, girl. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the dogs, the three main bitches, the dogs, the great-grandmother, and Fran. I should help them, right? No. Oh, I have my opinion. And that is... No. Maybe help Jamie Lee Curtis. I'd say the people who actually deserve it at this point are Linda and Meg. That's about it. If she was gonna help anybody, Linda and Meg, you know? Linda's gonna get a divorce. Her son is in jail. She could use some dough. And Meg just wants to go to college. Uh, this song's good too. Like, to close out everything show the whole cast. Bye bye. Yes. Yes. All right, class. Let's go ahead and discuss because that was quite a journey for me. You know, I was really, I didn't, I, w I wasn't sure in the middle there because I was like, we already figured out it is Marta. What more is there to say? Who who cares? Is her going to be trying to cover up for the whole rest of the uh, like hour left? There was like an hour and 15 left. And I was like, how can this be interesting when we already found out who the killer is 30 minutes in basically. But boy, was I wrong. I said this, you know, while I was watching this 
this, but I was hoping that this movie would kind of spark a little bit of interest for me to actually crack open my Sherlock Holmes, get into the rhythm of reading more mysteries, and I really did. I love a good mystery, and this really, I feel like this also kind of set the tone. I think this is supposed to be taking place in November as well, so kind of perfect timing. But it just also makes me curious about the sequel, which is coming out in December, I believe. Is that going to be following the same family or a different family, different circumstances, all that jazz? Either way, still gonna be very interesting. And I can see why this is very highly rated. You know what I mean? You have an amazing cast, a great score slash soundtrack, interesting story, and you're truly on the edge of your seat. I mean, just when you know something, the movie proves you that you just don't know anything at all and at a certain point too i was like okay mr bronk are you even a good detective because he didn't figure anything out but he had us all fooled you guys he really did like okay james bond so anyways out of 10 i don't know i'm trying to think is there anything i would change about this movie i don't know i feel like giving it a perfect 10 out of 10 is just a little too generous but maybe not because i don't know if there is anything i would change about this i mean the way they played it out for us they showed us who the killer was, who we think the killer was, super early on. Literally 40 minutes in to this two hour movie. And they did that for a reason though. Even though if in the moment I was kind of like, what's going on? Where are you going with this? You know what I mean? But it definitely did pay off, I will say that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a 10 out of 10 because I really think that the way that they put everything and laid it out really works well. And this is one of those types of movies where it's gonna be more fun the more times you go back to watch it. You already know I love my Holy Trinity. Holy Trinity move out because we got the dogs, we got the grandmother and we got Fran and you just can't be, like there is no better trio than those three because they helped solve this case. The dogs knew that Ransom was suspicious and ugly and terrible and despicable. Fran figured everything out because she's a housekeeper and housekeepers know everything. And the grandmother of all people helped just solidify that it was Ransom by being like, oh, I, um, I thought that I saw him again. He climbed up that same, you know, wall to get into the window. I mean, truly impeccable work by those three. Hire them onto the crew detectives, you know, they deserve it. They deserve a gold medal for those findings. So with that said and done, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons and especially to Matt O'Keefe, AJ, Mark Sylvester, and Edward Fisher. Thank you so much guys and make sure to go ahead and check out my Patreon if you haven't already. All right, so full length reaction for this will be on my Patreon. That will be linked in the description below. Go ahead, check it out. I definitely had a fun time with this one, even though it kind of lost me a little bit towards the middle. I was like, what's, what's the point of this? What's going on? There's no reason that this movie has to be this long but now i get it you know what i mean it, it was a slow burn but it definitely paid off and i'm proud i stuck through with it and finished it so let me know what you guys think about this movie let me know if you're excited for the sequel any info any intel that you have about that definitely let me know because i will definitely be checking out the sequel especially if it's on netflix it'll just make it so much easier for me to actually check it out if you have any other suggestions for movies like this i believe actually i don't know what that movie is supposed to be about amsterdam i think it just came out very recently yeah it, october so i think that this is supposed to be the same exact kind of thing amsterdam set in the 30s it follows three friends who witness a murder become suspects themselves and uncover one of the most outrageous plots in american history okay and taylor swift is in this this one is also something that has an amazing cast you got christian bale Taylor Swift, Margot Robbie, Anya Taylor-Joy, Robert De Niro, Rami Malek, Chris Rock, Mike Myers. Oh my gosh, I need to catch my breath. So maybe I will go and see that. But let me know if there's any other types of movies that are kind of like nice out or mysteries or honestly, tell me if the Sherlock Holmes <laughs> movies are good. The one with uh, Robert Downey Jr., I believe. So tell me if those are good because I might just check those out after I go ahead and read, you know, some of the little short 
short stories. So thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that jazz. And as always, thanks for watching.